Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. I wanted to show you guys my top five favorite fall slash winter lip colors. So if you guys are new to my channel, I have always kind of struggled with wearing darker colors on my lips. I've never really liked the way it looked, but I think that as seasons change, you kind of have to go with that and um, wear makeup that's, a, that's appropriate for that season just like you would your clothes. So I have come to really, really love these lipsticks, lip colors, and I really want to share them with you guys because if you are my skin tone and have kind of felt like it's difficult to find colors that work for you, a lot of these will work for you. And overall, these are colors that I think would be universally flattering on everybody, but I think it's harder to get away with certain brighter, darker colors on darker skin tones. I feel like um, that'll be especially helpful to you guys who look like me out there. So let me go ahead and show you guys which ones. I'm going to go ahead and uh, swatch them on my hands and wear them on my lips as well so you guys can tell. So my first one that I'm going to show you guys is a really easy one. This is the MAC Sheen Supreme Lip Gloss Tint. I think they still have this. I think it came out in a collection, but I feel like it became permanent. And it's called Glorious Intent. That's the color that it looks like in here. It's definitely a wine color, but um, I'll show you guys what it looks like. Okay. So, it's basically one of these where you just roll up. And it does dispense quite a lot. That's what it looks like with one coat, if I want to add a little bit more, that's what it looks like. This is this was actually one of my very first reds that I didn't think was that intimidating because it's got a little bit of gloss to it, it's more natural, it's not very opaque, so it can kind of just be like put on as an afterthought and not really worried about as much. And it's interesting because the more you layer it on, you will get this color, but as of right now, you can tell that I haven't gotten to that darkness yet because this is how I like to wear it as a lighter, more natural, um, like, dark pinkish red color for the fall slash winter. So this could be worn even if you are doing like a darker eye, that sort of thing. Like it's not opaque, it's not that dark, and it's not that show-stopping just yet. Okay. My next one is Palace Royal by NARS. And this is a satin lip pencil. I love these especially because the ease of application is just amazing. They've got velvet matte lip pencils as well as the satin ones and as satin obviously means it does have a little bit of shine to it. So let me show you guys. See how fast and easy that was? Hmm, how does this look look? So this is usually how I wear it, and I love this. Again, this is a little bit of a shine, so it's not matte. This is a deep wine color for sure. I wouldn't say... I think it's a wine color going more into burgundy as opposed to having more red undertones. So I just love this. This is like so easy to wear. I love the ease of application, but it can kind of slip a little bit, so the formula might have been a little better if it was not as slippery, because you can definitely be drawing across and end up right here across your face. But... I love how this one looks and it's just, I just love how it feels. It feels good. It feels really formal. Like, I, I think I would do this to like a black tie event as opposed to a more red shade. Okay. Then my next one I'm going to show you guys is Diva, which you guys have heard about. But what I first want to do is, if I use that, sometimes I will line my lips with this, which is a Ben Nye lip liner and Wineberry. And that's what this looks like right here. Um, just in case you guys feel like red bleeds. It doesn't bleed on me, so I'm fine with it. So I'm going to I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like without um, the lip liner. Diva is a matte red by MAC. This was my very, very first red color. Like, I feel like it's actually just a red.
So this is what Diva looks like. I love this. This is my absolute favorite from the five that I'm showing you guys today. One, because I have bigger lips and therefore matte lipsticks tend to look better on me than uh, glosses and shines, especially if it's something um, this dark and this bold. Two, lipsticks like this make your teeth look amazing. I mean, it makes your teeth look so white. And three, this is a really comfortable lipstick to wear. It's not a matte where you feel like I can't move my lips. It just feels so terrible. It feels like concrete. Um, it's a really comfortable wear. It really doesn't even fade. Like, this is such a true, nice red color that it really stains your lips. Even as it starts to come off, it's going to look basically the exact same. So I love that. Um, obviously, this is not like a red red as per like someone with a lighter skin tone might wear just because... This is a more blue-based red, and that's really essential, I feel like, for darker skin than, to go for that, as opposed to a yellow-based red, because yellow-based stuff can make you look very rustish, in my opinion, and I don't really like that sort of look. So blue-based reds are definitely the best to go for if you are of darker skin tone like me. So I'm obsessed with this. I feel like it is the universal perfect red. Like, I don't own any reds on myself that would look better than this because the others are more like wine, um, you know, like burgundies, but this is like, in my opinion, my one red lipstick. Okay, my next one is Rebel, which is also by MAC. This is a really interesting color. You guys will see when I put it on. This is a satin as well. So this is what Rebel looks like, and I love it. Um, it's definitely a purple undertone. Ugh. And what I like about this is that while it's opaque, it's not as opaque as Diva. So it's kind of got that sort of, you can still see your natural lip color through it. And also purple undertoned lipsticks look really good on darker skin tones, especially brown skin looks amazing. But this is that color that I think would look good on everybody. This would look so bright and so fun and somebody who's fair skin. It looks so appropriate for somebody who's darker skinned. But since it is purple, you do have to be kind of uh, careful about what you wear with it. Like for example, what I'm wearing right now is not going to work. Um, these two colors, my coral as well as purple, doesn't look good together. So I think this, is, this would be a little bit harder to wear, but I just love this color. While it's dark, it's not in that field of burgundy and like dark dark plumish colors just yet so it's probably one of the lighter ones out of all of these and in a different spectrum since it has a purple undertone while none of these uh, really did so I really like that. My last one is called Cyber and this is by MAC as well. It's this dark color right here and I'm gonna put it on so in real life I feel like this can almost look black but somehow when I do it for you guys it never ends up looking that way. But I love, 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 love this one. It's really fun. So this is also, it's a lipstick by MAC. It just happens to be in this because I, this was like a holiday collection that I bought last year. But they have this in regular lipstick form too. Do you guys see how dark that is? So this is what Cyber looks like, which I love. Sorry for this up here looking so uh, stained. Um, but this is what Cyber looks like. This obviously has a deep, deep, deep purple undertone. It looks very plum colored. Eggplant colored actually would probably be the better name for it. But I love the way this looks. It's definitely sort of vampier. Um, this would be probably like a more dangerous color to wear. I probably wouldn't wear this all the time, but I think for like costume looks or even if you're doing like a really, really very light makeup and just want to wear like a boom kind of in your face lip color, this is perfect. And, um, right now my lips have so many other colors underneath it, as you guys can tell, it got so stained. But when I really put it on dark, it can be much darker than this as well. So it's kind of a fun color to play with, but I just love the way this one looks. I think it's really, like, really, really sexy. Like, imagine just wearing, like, such a light makeup look and wearing, like, even, I feel like this would look so good with all white. Or if you wear, like, hunter green a lot, like a hunter green jacket or a vest, I feel like this would be another great color for that sort of look as well. So I love these. Um, 
lipsticks in general. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. If you have any questions, then post down below. Thanks. Bye.